Hello, and welcome to all of you in this exciting time of making important choices about universities and possible majors. I'm Professor Max Deutsch of the Philosophy Department here at HKU, and I'm going to present philosophy and HKU's philosophy program to you. Philosophy is best defined by the kinds of questions it asks. To give you a sense of what these questions are like, I want to ask all of you to do some philosophy right now. First, consider a famous philosophical thought experiment. This thought experiment was invented by a woman named Philippa Foote. It is known as the trolley problem. In this picture, you are the person with your hand on a lever. A lever which, if you pull it, will divert a runaway trolley onto the Sidesbury track. Here's the question. Should you pull the lever? If you do, the trolley will be diverted, but it will run over one innocent person tied to the Sidesbury track. If you don't pull the lever, the trolley will run over five innocent people tied to the main track. Pulling the lever sacrifices one person, but saves five. Before you conclude that that settles it, and that you ought, therefore, to pull the lever, consider this second picture. In this picture, you are the person standing with another person on a footbridge over a trolley track. You have your hands on the second person's back. As before, there's a runaway trolley rumbling down the track. If you push this innocent person over the footbridge, they will stop the trolley from running over the five innocent people tied to the track below, but they won't survive the fall. As before, you can sacrifice one person while saving five. Should you push the person over the footbridge? Taken together, the two pictures constitute a puzzle in ethics, one of philosophy's many subfields. Ethics is the study of morally right and wrong action, and the puzzle presented by the trolley problem concerns the extent to which the consequences of a given action determine its moral acceptability. Ethics is just one branch of philosophy. Another is epistemology, the study of knowledge and its limits. An ancient puzzle in epistemology sees these limits as extremely severe. We have, at most, a tiny fraction of the knowledge we take ourselves to have. Why might that be? Consider this. You claim to know many things. For example, all of you, I'd wager, think you know where you are located right now what you had for breakfast this morning, and so on. But to update the ancient puzzle with the help of a bit of science fiction, you could be merely a brain in a vat, kept alive on some distant planet, made to think the things you think by the workings of a complex supercomputer to which you are connected. If you are a brain in a vat, then you're not located where you think you are, and you didn't have that refreshing seeming glass of orange juice for breakfast either. So if you know you had orange juice for breakfast, you must know that you're not a brain in a vat. But you don't know that, do you? There's no way to rule out the possibility, since if you were a brain in a vat, things would seem to you just as they seem right now. This is the puzzle of skepticism in epistemology. How can you know the things you claim to if you don't and can't know that you're not a brain in a vat? If these puzzles strike you as interesting and worth thinking about, you should take some philosophy classes. Here at HKU, we offer classes in ethics and epistemology, but also in politics, aesthetics, metaphysics, philosophy of mind, logic, and more. Our undergraduate program is extremely diverse, covering all areas of philosophy, and it is very flexible. Students have many choices and can tailor their classes to suit their needs and interests. We offer two first-year introductory courses, one covering mind and knowledge, and another covering ethics and politics from both Western and Eastern perspectives. Our upper level courses fall into four broad groups, knowledge and reality, mind and language, moral and political philosophy, and the history of philosophy. Philosophy has an unfair reputation for being impractical. That's not true. Philosophy develops skills in critical reading, clear writing, and persuasive speaking and debate. In philosophy, it's all about arguments, being able to rationally criticize or defend arguments concerning every aspect of the world and human experience. The study of philosophy leads students into diverse careers in politics, law, education, business, and journalism. It is also, and this is important, a fundamental part of every other academic discipline, not just in the humanities, but in science and mathematics too. These disciplines all have historical roots in philosophy, and their foundational questions are deeply philosophical. This means that the study of philosophy is integral to the study of anything else. And studying philosophy at HKU will deepen your understanding of whatever else you choose to investigate at university. 
I'm proud to be part of a long tradition of philosophical study at HKU. We've been teaching the subject here for more than 100 years. I am just one member of a vibrant group of scholars, including my faculty colleagues and our many excellent postgraduate students and tutors, all of whom would welcome the opportunity to have you in our classes and as part of our philosophical life and work here. For more information about our specialisms and who we are, please visit us at philosophy.hku.hk. I hope to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this talk, and good luck with the choices facing you. Best wishes, and goodbye.